But exploration of the outer solar system, far beyond our neighbouring worlds, is a much greater challenge. In 1970, no one knew if they could even get a spacecraft safely across the asteroid belt that lay between us and the outer planets. But that didn't stop them trying. Pioneer 10 was built and launched to trailblaze the route to Jupiter. Pioneer 10 was the first uh, venture beyond the orbit of Mars. First time we were going into such enormous distances. First time we were about to cross the asteroid belt, which lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. So it was a very hazardous and high-risk uh, mission. And we had a keen sense of its historic possibilities in, in blazing the trail to the outer planets. Proving a lot of critics wrong, Pioneer 10 had made it across the asteroid belt intact. But mission scientist James Van Allen was in for a shock as the probe hurtled towards Jupiter. As we went in, the radiation intensity got greater and greater and greater and greater and greater and greater. And, greater, and there was a very um, strong apprehension about the survival of the electronic equipment in the spacecraft. But it went up to a maximum, kept going up and up, and we did survive, and then it started back going down again. So we, of course, breathed a sigh of relief that we had finally made it. But the first pictures to come back from Pioneer 10 looked badly distorted. The detail of cloud bands and giant storms visible through telescopes on Earth were barely discernible as the robot sensors grew ever more strained as it passed through the planet's severe magnetic field. Over 30 years after it left Earth, Pioneer 10 still flies on. This historic robot has outlived many of the engineers who designed and built it. Although its power system is now failing, it will continue on silently towards the stars. Well, it's a quite a nice thrill, of course, to think about it. Uh, when we were preparing our Pioneer 10 uh, instrument and delivering it to the Ames Research Center, I just licked my finger and put it on when he wasn't looking. So I'm uh, happy to say my fingerprint is now about six billion miles away from the Earth. But it was humanity's first brush with Jupiter that Pioneer 10 will always be remembered for. The gas giant has no surface to land on. A robot entering its atmosphere would fall for days before reaching Jupiter's pitch black center, where under extremes of pressure and temperature, a core of metallic liquid hydrogen is thought to be churning, generating the severe magnetic field that Pioneer 10 had endured. And any human explorers encountering Jupiter would have to take even greater precautions against the planet's radiation belts. The magnetic field is going up. Aurora Pegasalis. Our very own Northern Lights. Such a technology is still just a dream. And for the real missions bound for Jupiter, alternative solutions were needed to survive.